Toronto. Good morning, Canada. Welcome back to BT. Meredith Shaw, Sid Sixero here with you. Uh, before we go, we wanted to play you a clip that has um, not surprisingly gone viral very, very quickly. And it's uh, courtesy of Global News in Calgary. On-air traffic reporter Leslie Horton received an email, and in the email, from a viewer. This is what the email said. Congratulations on your pregnancy. If you're going to wear old bus driver pants, then you have to expect emails like this. So Leslie took that email and went to air, and this is what happened. Just going to respond to an email that I just got uh, saying congratulations on your pregnancy. If you're going to wear old bus driver pants, you have to expect emails like this. So thanks for that. Um, no, I'm not pregnant. I actually lost my uterus to cancer last year. And um, this is what women of my age look like. So if it is offensive to you, that is unfortunate. Think about the emails that you sent. That is spreading like wildfire on the Internet, as, as you would expect. Meredith Shaw, your thoughts? Leslie, uh, I, I give such... Uh, love and um, honor to you for bringing this up because here's the thing that can happen you can get an email like that and if you're a woman who's on television any kind of capacity we've all got them and you could take that in and feel shameful about that you could bury that and you could somehow associate that with your worth what she has done not only for herself but for women on camera in general is that she has put this back on that person your opinion of my body is none of my business and i think she she has demonstrated that in the most classy, impeccable, correct way. And I, for one, who is a woman in a slightly bigger body than you might normally see on television, uh, I send you so much love and respect, sister friend, because you are using your voice to change people's opinion. And again, it puts it back on the sender as opposed to anything to do with you yourself and I think that's exactly the way to handle it and uh, I couldn't be prouder of her here here mm. the line in that email too you have to expect emails like this <laughs> no no we don't <laughs> no get out of your mom's basement because no you don't yeah get off Facebook for eight minutes because no you don't she's a broadcaster she's doing her job <laughs> she went to school for this better she's incredibly than, skilled probably better than you've ever done any job because it's live TV and it's difficult. And most of you, most of your kind people, some of you have no idea what we're doing out here. None. And in a million years couldn't. And have the audacity to see. see you said classy. That was an interesting word to me. Because if that were me, I'd also, because that's an email. That wasn't some egg emoji tweet that came in. Mm -hmm. I'd put out names. Oh, yeah. I'd let, I'd let employers know where that's coming from. Because I think more employers need to know what the people are doing on the side. And I 100% I um, support what happened there. Me too. Because the stuff women have to deal with in this business, I've been in sports, I've been in news and entertainment, it's garbage. What what they deal with online daily. That's and it's a still, taste. That's a taste. It's still a, a, an acceptable form of commentary uh, in, in this day and age. It's still received as, uh, I have the right to comment on what you look like. And uh, you don't. And uh, Leslie has spoken for so many of us, and also young girls watching, uh, her and us here this morning, who you are and your worth has nothing to do with the pants you choose to wear, the body you choose to show up in. It's just not where it's at. So thank you, Leslie. Agreed. 9.51, you're watching BT. More after this.